In the world of theme parks and thrill rides, one of the best ways to get your adrenaline rush is on a good old classic wooden roller coaster. In today's world, more and more steel coasters continue to get built while wooden coasters become harder to find. As time goes on and the rides become older and less popular, many parks opt to transform them into something new or just tear them down completely. That's why it becomes even more special when you find a wooden roller coaster that's over like 100 years old. But that being said, you can still find companies that will still build wooden roller coasters today. The big three being Gravity Group, RMC, and GCI. I've had the amazing opportunity to ride rides from all three of these companies across the world. In today's video, I'll be ranking my 10 favorites. And I want to kick things off first with our number 10 roller coaster, which is Gold Striker at California's Great America. The ride opened back in 2013 and is one of GCI's best rides, in my opinion. Most of their wooden roller coasters are categorized by these big sweeping overbank turns and small ejector bunny hops. And that is certainly the case with this ride too. It's an awesome twister layout. It's located right at the front of the park. And as an extra added bonus, they enclose the first drop so it's completely in the dark. It was actually done so to help with soundproofing. But it's definitely another element that helps make this ride fantastic. And at number nine, we have what was considered the tallest wooden roller coaster in the world when it opened. That is Goliath at Six Flags Great America. This is the first RMC topper track ride that we'll see on this list. And while it's definitely the shortest of the three, this ride is so precise with every single element that it includes. From that massive first drop of 180 feet, an 85 degree angle, giant overbank, a dive loop, and a zero G stall. This ride was so innovative when it came out. It was once again proof of some of the amazing things that you can do with a wooden roller coaster. It is so re-rideable, definitely my favorite attraction at Six Flags Great America. Taking the number eight spot is Hades 360. This ride originally opened in 2005 as Gravity Group's first big project. The Gravity Group was started by several employees who worked with CCI before that company went bankrupt. And then they came together and came out with this stellar attraction, dropping 160 feet underneath the parking lot. And then 2013, updated the attraction to flip you into a corkscrew. This ride is so absolutely insane. It's nonstop action, flips you on a 90 degree bank turn while you're underneath the parking lot. It's quite a long experience. The only downside is it is a fairly rough attraction. So it is definitely not for everyone. You definitely got to have a high tolerance for wooden roller coasters when you do this. But if you can look past that and just focus on the layout, this ride really is one of the best. For number seven, we're heading back to California, this time to Knott's Berry Farm and Ghost Rider. Now this is a famous CCI wooden roller coaster that goes back to 1998. And for a while, this ride had such a bad reputation for being so unbearably rough until GCI came in and redid the attraction, added in new trains, completely retracked and reprofiled it. And so the best way I can describe this ride is, it is a CCI layout that runs like one of GCI's roller coasters. So it's the best of both worlds. The ride has great airtime moments, fun laterals, and is one heck of a night ride. It's been running like a dream ever since that refurb in 2016, which is why it's one of my favorite wooden roller coasters of all time. But there are several that I prefer over it. At number six, we are heading to another Cedar Fair Park, this time to Kings Island and Mystic Timbers. This is my personal favorite roller coaster by GCI. Unlike many of their rides that are twister layouts, Mystic Timbers is an out and back, but it flies through the woods, over the rapids ride, weaving through the trees, over ejector hill after ejector hill. It stays really low to the ground, but doesn't need to take you up very high. It is a speed machine with incredible pacing. If you've done Prowler at Worlds of Fun, this is basically like a souped up version of it. I think it's an absolute masterpiece and one that I always look forward to riding. So now we're at our halfway point and at number five, we have Boardwalk Bullet at Kima Boardwalk in Texas. This ride is located right outside of Houston and packs in so much ride into under an acre of land. It's a gravity group layout over 3,000 feet of track in so many crossovers. This ride is the definition of compact and oh my gosh, the first time I experienced it, I was absolutely blown away. It was just after the park reopened it from an extensive retracking and it was running like a dream. I only got to experience this attraction at night, but I could not get enough of it. I know it's kind of in an obscure location. It's the only roller coaster at this park. So if you find yourself out there, do not miss this ride. And our number four spot brings us overseas to Sweden. This is the only international roller coaster that made my top 10 and also happened to be my favorite roller coaster in Europe when I visited in 2018. This is Wildfire at Colmarden. Yes, the RMC at a zoo. Not only does it have one of the best views ever from a roller coaster, but this is everything that you could want in an RMC. Steep drop, sending you off of a cliffside, zero G stall, total of three inversions, and so much 
much airtime. And because it was located all the way in the back of this zoo, when I visited, there was no wait. So we got to marathon this thing over and over again. I really got a good feel for it and was so incredibly impressed. But it's not my favorite RMC wooden roller coaster. At our number three spot, we have Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. And I think when I first rode Wildfire, I said it was better than Outlaw Run. But I think what really sealed the deal for me here is Outlaw Run is an absolute beast at night. It is so pitch black back there because this ride is tucked into the woods. The way that RMC and Silver Dollar City use this terrain is unbelievable. You go so far back there, flipping upside down, there's a double barrel roll finale, multiple bank turns, airtime hills, there's a wave turn. This ride has a little bit of everything and it is relentless. This ride was an absolute game changer when it opened. It was the first ever wooden roller coaster to go upside down and I think is a reason alone to visit Silver Dollar City. I can understand why this is so many people's favorite wooden roller coasters, but it is not mine. At our number two spot, we have El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. And for the longest time, I considered this my favorite wooden roller coaster. And honestly, depending on how it's running, it still might be my favorite wooden coaster. And I think that's really the whole thing with this list is, as time goes on, you get different ride experiences on, they're gonna move up or down on your list. El Toro is a near perfect ride. It's an absolute monstrosity, standing 181 feet in the air. It's the only ride on this list that is manufactured by Intamin. It's one of their prefabricated wooden roller coasters. There were only four ever built. The only other one that I've done is Balder at Lisaberg, and that ride doesn't even come close to El Toro. This ride is packed full of ejector airtime, and all starts off with an unbelievable first drop at 76 degrees. Those first few hills are ridiculous, and the coaster closes out with several low-to-the-ground bank turns. I said it's near perfect, depending on where you ride it. I think El Toro is another one of those rides that can be considered rough. But as rides go through retracking, some years they run better than others, and that's totally normal. And that brings us to our number one spot, and I don't think this should come as a surprise to too many people. It is the Voyage at Holiday World. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this ride exists. It is so unbelievably insane. It's almost borderline too much. Over 6,000 feet of track flying through the woods of Indiana. The ride feels like a hyper coaster, but it is more extreme than most steel coasters. And unlike some rides that die down towards the end, the voyage keeps it going from start to finish. First half, these giant airtime hills. Second half, crazy low to the ground bank turns. I also stand firm that it is the greatest night ride in the world. You cannot see anything on it. You wouldn't be able to see the hand in front of your face. And when you experience some of those moments, you'll understand why this ride has such a crazy reputation. It is by far the best thing Gravity Group has ever done, which is why I place it at the number one spot. A couple honorable mentions before I close out here. For the longest time, Lightning Rod was my favorite wooden roller coaster, but recently two thirds of it were converted to Ibox steel track. And so it is now really a hybrid coaster. It's more steel than it is wood. So that's why it was not on this list. I also want to shout out two other wooden roller coasters at Holiday World, Raven and Legend, both also phenomenal rides. Lightning Racer is a dueling GCI at Hershey Park, super unique. And then there's also two other great GCIs I love over in Europe, Troy at Toverland and Woden at Europa Park. Every ride that I've mentioned on this list is absolutely phenomenal, and it's why it made ranking these so difficult. I know I haven't ridden every wooden roller coaster out there. There's still a couple big ones that I need to hit. Probably the main one that I'm missing is Shivering Timbers. It was closed when I visited Michigan's Adventure. In my eyes, it's probably the only wooden roller coaster I haven't done that I think has a chance at making this list. But I'd love to hear from all of you guys down in the comments below. What are your favorite wooden roller coasters? And let me know if you agree with this ranking. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to Coaster Studios for more rankings and reviews. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.